Alrighty then, I have finished watching Naruto Shippuden, and um, yeah, it's uh, it's been like a long journey. Let me go to my my enemy list. So I began watching Shippuden March fourth of twenty twenty two, and I finished it on July twenty eighth. So you know, it's been a um, a nifty nifty journey for myself. So you know, it's been a been a good been a good minute uh, since I finally finally watched it. So um, Naruto Shippuden, I have so many good things to talk about. I don't. Uh, nothing bad in particular besides the filler, but it's just like I don't know how long this review is going to be. But I want to I want to get some things out of the way. Anime is a good straight ten out of ten. I enjoy the story, and I think it's just wonderful how they just ended it off and everything, and especially with ties with the previous Naruto anime. Um, openings are so great, and it just hit me in every single moment. Um, it took me a, a good bit to even, um, whatchamacallit, to get into it because I was watching One Piece. But I think it was like the first, it was the first 60 or so episodes for like the roughest for myself to even, um, to even uh, watch it. Because it was just like, I don't know, like I guess like the first couple, like the first 60 or so was just like, it was just boring i guess but then after um i got to the part one like oh man i was so pissed off so around like somewhere in the 70s that's when awesome died and i was like i i really did not expect them like i got spoiled a bit so i know that neji and jiraiya died but i didn't know awesome died like that, that kind of that really like I cried a little bit. I was like, bro, like he is such a re like the relaxed fucking sensei ever, and he just died around there. I was like, bro, that is too fucking early. And then I keep forgetting like 500 of those episodes are not canon. Like a good half is like filler and shit. So yeah, I proceed watching. Uh, I kept pushing on. Uh, I was watching fillers and everything along the way. I didn't really skip on any any episodes. But immediately when it got to the pain evasion arc, after that, I was so hooked on just binging the fuck out of Naruto. So, like, I immediately stopped watching One Piece for a good bit. I watched, like, maybe one or two episodes every, every now and then. But I went straight to fucking Shippuden. I went straight to Shippuden and finished it because it was just, like, after the pain invasion arc i was like bro i can't i cannot watch any more fillers it's just after that after the whole fight of naruto learning sage mode and finding out who pain really is being nagato and their story and their um relationship between both of them from through jiraiya and everything and oh my gosh when jiraiya died i you best believe your boy fucking cried. I literally got a tattoo of this man on my fucking right side. It fucking hurt like a bitch, but it was just great. It's a tattoo of him with his first stage mode and everything, but it was just so great. It was just so interesting to learn about, like, the jutsus and everything. And it didn't take me that long to remind myself, okay, like, this is what a jutsu is and everything. And then, like, the whole running on thing, I had to keep reminding myself, like, what it was, like, an evolution and everything. It was just really great um the akatsuki i thought they were just like like now i understood more of like what the akatsuki is and all it's about and everything especially when um haiko the leader and everything man the akatsuki it was just like it, everything like ties in if it's just the theme of like with war and just to bring about peace but in so many different ways the ways that they go through to order to achieve peace and everything and all that stuff like man like the members the members are kind of you know they kind of had their own side goal and everything like most of them were just like you know they're there to like um serve uh <clears throat> to serve um the the to serve there to like oh yeah i'm just gonna like just do this because i want to and not really like share any common goals with the akatsuki um what is it um data the one with the explosive guy i mean he didn't he really didn't care he was just all about his um art and everything 
Kasime, um, I love Kasime, especially with his um, with his fight being so unique, and then with Itachi, bro, don't get me even start with Itachi yet. Um, all the members and everything in the Katsuki were really powerful. They were really interesting, just learning their background characters and just um you know how they died and everything you know it was just like a little satisfaction conclusion it's just like oh okay like they're just here for their not really any deeper meaning or they're just you know recruited you know it's just most of all they're just recruited just to serve their goal and everything and it was just all twisted around because of war bloodshed and kids and all that stuff it was great i'm um, just seeing each and every one of the akatsuki's and then when toby oh my god literally shit went down with toby and everything learning that it was obito and then with his goals i'm like oh my god i saw a meme not too long ago blame of like kakashi being blamed for the fourth great ninja war because he killed ring and there was just like so many more context behind um reading and everything and oh man it was so satisfying to see naruto get his um get his parents like actually seeing his parents meeting his parents you know through the chidiki um then through um through nine tails and everything and I'm, i was just like pretty i was just really just pretty happy for naruto like through his his growth like as a kid towards now and especially you know with the context of him coming back after training with Jirai and everything it was just so great um just seeing Naruto grow up into and shaping himself to become like a proud shinobi not only towards himself but like every, everybody around him in the village and everything it was just so nice seeing how much Naruto has grown and changed and how he can just connect to the hearts of pretty much anybody and that's just his special like power like this man could literally do it all and i'm just so just so happy to be be with be um be the audience like be like be there watching him grow and change it was just so so satisfying just seeing it especially at the end size character i honestly did not like Sai at first but his character development um grown and changed a lot and i actually like him being the son um being um the member of team seven it was just so satisfying at least for me to see him you know just like grow and change and like um actually start to care for you know sakura and naruto and the other and the others as well but yeah it was just i was just like really i was just really happy to see how sai grew and changed as a person so it was just nice seeing him had his whole character development and um what was it was oh my gosh fucking sasuke wow sasuke had a like overhaul of like so many mixed emotions and changes and whoo boy oh boy it was it was just who just a mess but um let's i'm trying to get through like everything how i was feeling so um with that with like jirai and everything i was pretty pretty upset because like bro what the fuck is that literally some taught shit so um the carrot everything everything just felt pretty uh, I've, i felt pretty satisfied of how some things went um let's see let's see let's see if there's any more i can like i know i have like a lot more like that that i want to talk about but everything like it's just like slowly drifting but not too much because i do remember a whole lot key moments um i already talked about akatsuki um jiraiya great sensei town and son i actually freaked out when kakashi died i thought he was actually like dead dead but it's just like i remember like i watched a clip of boruto and he's just like he's not dead but it's just like come on and um oh yeah learning with like kagura the whole stage of six paths thing that was just really interesting um to see that being like the final um fight and everything with sasuke and naruto and um sakura with um with her and like how traumatic it is and how how everything was set in place like literally how um madara and hashirama was manipulated by um kaigua's little black goo or whatever and how it was like because of faith because of um the sage of six past sons um the older brother is like the reincarnation of himself and sasuke and the younger brother the of the sage six pass um son is reincarnated in naruto i know they have names but i 
but I fucking forgot because I can't fucking keep up with all the names because there was just too many names to keep account, okay? Sorry. But yeah, I just, I just like, all that was just like a predetermined destiny and everything and how everything was like manipulative. And it was just like at the end of it all, everything and all, and all was manipulated from Kaguya's little offspring or whatever. And it caused everything that happened in the whole naruto sorry if you really think about it and it wasn't really through um um madara or whatever it was just like not even the reincarnations it was all because of like her um her little offspring goo and it was like really interesting for me when um i figured out oh um the sage and the sage and his brother they both like their abilities and everything it was so interesting with kaiyu like how all the ninjutsu of like everything came from those beings and was like interesting so like the sage and his uh younger brother was like oh that's where that's where on um, the back gun came from or hey the, the sage that's where the shouting gun came from and the renegon came from and the healing jutsu you know it was just so like i was just like wow like everything came like before everything it was originally just them like i guess that can possess this type of jutsu but it's just like wow like this is when it was like first invented it was just i was just really interested with it like the history was just like wow like it all started because of like from them like that's that was like the original people who have discovered it and like gained that first power you know it's like interesting it's like hey where did uh, Ninji and um, Hinata gain the Byakuga from? Who was like the first, you know? And the Uchiha, who was the first to have the Shanigan, you know? It was just like all about that. And I was like, you know what? Yeah, that makes so much sense. And it was just like really interesting, like for me, like to know like it came from those two brothers and then with Kaguya, like being the Oss, fly from both of them, both of them from their mother, because yeah, duh, you got your powers from your mom, duh. But um, yeah, a lot of like interesting historical stuff in the story and the narrative was great. Um, I um I feel like there were sh um there were some things that should have been um addressed. Like one, like with Ten Ten, I don't know why her character wasn't utilized enough. Even when I skipped all the fillers, I didn't even get to see much. Like I guess her character wasn't utilized enough, which is kind of disappointing because she was more the weapons um weapons person i really like to see more of her jutsu and then same thing with neji when neji died i i really it really took a toll because like Le neji he's like a, he's like my favorite but like not my favorite favorite like i don't look up to him that much as i do with like jirai and everything but he's a really good solid character just didn't get enough screen time with the guy it was just like wow like he's a really good character and again not really much utilized it was just like he wasn't just shown enough until like when he needed to be and not like all the time because you know even though he's naruto's friend like you know he should be incorporated a little bit more like it should be not only just naruto but everybody kind of surrounding him naruto but i don't know if the fillers are there just for that and not because you know they can't keep up to the manga or whatever and then with uh, the background with Hashimata and Madara, it was it was just nice seeing how they like it was just nice again with the history seeing how the hidden leaf um village came to be and what eventually came down so with the fourth great ninja war and everything everything predetermined like pre set up oh yeah i was satisfied let's talk about sasuke a little bit i was satisfied that sasuke killed danzo because he's an asshole for doing that but it was like it's like it's like naruto has those it has like a multi different types of characters that you might like in naruto and donzo he's one of those characters he has uh excuse me good yeah he's those types of characters that have good intentions but in shady practices so he did some shady stuff in order to protect the leaf village and showing his backstory like gave more like for me an understanding and more context behind this character like oh he really does love and he really cares for the village and everything and it was just like wow like i guess he wasn't like you know the guy who made itachi kill his whole entire you know family and clan and everything even though it was excited i was like more so satisfied to see um 
Danzo being killed by um, Sasuke because he absolutely deserves that shit because duh like I get it he read um, direct his vengeance towards the leaf after you know he killed Itachi and then with that whole fight man I understand now because bro if Itachi was not sick he would have mopped the floor with fucking Sasuke it was just like the fight was so it was so intense but I knew he was gonna die and I saw the signature him poking Sasuke in the head and it was just like damn that powerful artwork right there was just oh it was just so mm. I just can't it was just like oh no Itachi and then looking at his um backstory like looking at the fillers and everything like all oh my well the mixed fillers in the anime because i use like a website it was just like damn like that makes me like i love itachi more as a character and i'm just like damn he really had to do the things that he had to do in order to, to protect sasuke it was just so heartbreaking for me to see such a good character having to make the hardest decisions to make sure like you know sasuke will be saved um to like be spared and everything but yeah i was satisfied when he killed donzo and then when itachi that like wow especially with his half-assed susuno and then with, um sasuke unlocking the mangekyoing and then i think the renegon as well we did with the sage and everything it was um it was it was cool i like his susuno but i prefer moderate because i love blue so you know a little bit of bias in that um, it was nice seeing the other Chinjotagis, the other hosts, and the other tailed beasts to know, like, oh yeah, we know there's only Kurama and Eight Tails that we get to see most of the time, and oh my gosh, Killer Bee is literally one of my favorite characters ever. Literally, guy can make a raps a whole ass sentence, like, bro. You can never find a person that can be like him. And I'm so glad, like, bro, watching this in dub is just so much better, in my opinion. Especially with Killer B. Literally such a chill fucking dude. I love him, and I love um, his mentorship towards Naruto and uh, into helping him to, to control Kurama and everything. And I love both him and Naruto with their relationship actually gotten a whole lot better and a whole lot stronger and everything and he unlocked um, his mode and his chakra mode and all that stuff and it was just so it was just so nice and satisfying seeing how much development again that Naruto has progressed around not with just Naruto but with you know this story as well and just progressing forward the war was just really brutal and everything but it made so much sense to like gather everybody to face against Obito, who now claims himself as Madara, well which, well, which isn't true and everything, but the build-up and the moment, it was, the build-up, it, um, it deserves it, like, the whole build-up and everything, and the climax at the end is, like, well satisfied, in my opinion, I was really satisfied of how things ended off, and, like, you know what, it was right to get me, like, hyped up to see all the different Shinobis and different nations that didn't trust each other, now, do under one common goal and in order to help lead and give hope to a peaceful path towards you know this um to to towards this like endless hatred of like what's been going on for past many generations before and i was so excited to see the other hokages the first four and everything and against with naruto oh my god i literally cried again when um naruto was saying his last goodbyes with minato when he was um when the um what is it the reanimation the reanimation jutsu was like fading all the other hokages away it was just like wow those were like the hokages and everything and just seeing them like i'm glad they got their time to shine because like i always wondered like will we ever see like the other previous hokages or are we just gonna see like i don't know like a backstory about them or whatever but yeah we actually get to see and just um see what they can do oh more and i was like wow that was really cool and i saw and the endless funny meme of like mara saying hush your mama i'm right i've been waiting for you and he said i will do with you later <laughs> it was just so fucking funny like they're literally at war and he's saying i'll deal with you later like mara is was literally one of the problems that are causing the fucking war to happen like uh i love i love him i just man it was just a shame to see like him to be to, for his character like how he had to be brought back in order to see it see how he is like 
and just like that being a goofy but also a serious um hokage at the same time but um yeah besides um all of that um i was really satisfying uh, i was really satisfied seeing like how the tail beast the ten tails came and how oh my god naruto unlocked his uh chroma mode literally was amazing and then him teaming up with and sasuke teaming up uh, it was just so great, especially when Sasuke did his Sasuna. Oh my god, it was just like, wow, man, he ain't fucking around. Like, he has this shit in the bag. He ain't fucking around. I like that. And Sasuke, you know, with his, excuse me, bearing sins, he's, you know, doing what he's doing to make sure, like, hey, I'm not gonna, like, destroy the hidden leaf anymore. Like, oh, I learned my ways and everything. And, you know, I'm so glad we get to see these two different um, paths progress with Naruto's story and then a little bit of Sasuke, you know, whatever, he can get any screen time of it. And I was, you know what, honestly, through the shit that he gone through, I wouldn't blame him as, as his character, but it was also would just make sense of how he redirected his hatred and tried to destroy the belief and not anymore and become whatever he becomes. And, um, but it was just nice seeing his character finally coming to like a stop that's probably just gonna be there for a good while and not have any more development I guess um, or whatever but um yeah it was nice seeing that nice seeing the fights when the sage gave Naruto and Sasuke both the Renegon and the sage it was nice seeing all that stuff um, especially when Naruto hit Kagyo with the reverse harem jutsu I was like bro he did not Pull that on a fucking god, and he knocked that bitch on my like, bro. To not just pull that for from a god, man. It was just so hilarious. But in, but in the entirety, I was. I'm I'm glad. I'm just I'm just happy how things ended off. Um, the wedding was great. I cried again. So it was so great. I felt so happy for Naruto. Um, yeah. Besides that, the wedding happened. I just wish like, like it didn't end off like, oh, they walk through the doors and that was it. And then Naruto just gives his head bent to fucking Boruto. It's just like, damn, I should watch Boruto. But like now I'm a little bit iffy because I'm just hearing so many things about it. It's just like, you know what? Let me let me rest on Shippuden for a while and just watch something else and not watch Boruto. So, I might do something like that. And I just started watching Bleach. So, you know, I might as well finish the big three, sort of. I already finished Naruto. And in its entirety, with Naruto, I think it was just a well-developed story that had a little bit of errors there in their own characters. And then, with the studio of not animating the anime like how they should. And, Jesus Christ, the fillers. I'm sure the fillers are good, but like once that pain invasion hit me i'm like bro i'm i'm i gotta watch plot now plot is too good i can't watch any fillers like, i can't get anything in my way you know um besides that, i'm really satisfied i'm i'm really happy that i finished naruto though i could be one of those people saying yes i watched naruto and of its entirety and i finished it and i skipped the fillers to accomplish it because bro the story is too good to not have anything get in my way for me in finishing it so yeah all that good stuff so anyways guys let me know what you guys think about naruto she put in down in the comment sections if not that's a-okay with me but anyways ladies and gentlemen my name is hanagos 39 and i hope you all have a wonderful morning night day evening order for the occasion and so i will see you all lovely ladies ladies and gentlemen in the next one take care stay safe all that good stuff see ya